Hello, thank you for checking out my video today. Today's video is going to be about my 640K RAM card. So I just got this uh, yesterday. Uh, I've just been testing it, uh, built a couple of them. Um, mainly, uh, I've been using the 512K RAM with my project so far, which is more than enough. But occasionally I do get people that want the 640 and I actually did run into a program recently that needed uh, more than 512K because DOS takes up, you know, about, I think, 66K for MS-DOS and FreeDOS takes up a little bit more. So I actually got to run out of memory error, so I figured it was time. So the board, as you can see, there's not much to it. The, uh, the 512K board, which I've used, they're the exact same footprint. Same side by side there. I did remove the ZIF socket. And that's mainly I figured at this point you plug this into an operational machine and don't change out the ROM. Where I built the 512K is more of a development board. And then it also gave me the ability to kind of squish everything together and not have that big ZIF socket on there. So as most people who probably watch this channel know that uh, 640 is kind of the limit for lower memory for DOS. Um, don't really want to get into the reasonings, but DOS is just set up to not really use anything above 640. The rest is for IOs and the ROM. And there is a segment or a section for um, expanded memory, which maybe one day I'll get into, but that's up in kind of your upper memory. So anyway... Uh, it features, uh, as you can see, it's very similar to 512K. And luckily, there was I still had half of the uh, LS139 here to decode the 128K that I added to it. So you've got your uh, 128K chip for that was added. And then I've got my 512 here, 32K of... ROM here, this is used, in, this is upper, uh, or RAM, sorry, this is upper, starts at address F0000, and then I've got my ROM at the very end. And I've labeled at the bottom where their start address is and which uh, chip goes in there. I, I've i always liked labeling the chip that goes in there, not just a U1, U2, It's you can do that, but I put the chip and then they're really easy to assemble. So, it's pretty much ready to go as is. So, I'm going to plug it in and boot it up. But real quick, I did make a couple like this, and I've tested this one. I've got, I listed two of them. So, if you want to upgrade your system, you can take and depopulate your 512K and just move it over. And your, uh, your uh, bracket as well, just move it over. And you can have a 640. So I listed two of these if somebody wants to upgrade their system. if the, As long as people want them, I'll keep listing them. If you don't see one listed, email me and I'll try to get you one. Uh, if not, I can send you a whole card. But obviously it'll cost more for the parts. So let's boot this thing up. I'm just going to use my little screen today. This is a, an 8088-2. And we're going to boot... Free DOS. So let's see. This may not focus too well on the screen. The big thing there, you're probably going to miss it. It says 640K on the, the count. So it's just automatically count. You don't have to change any settings whatsoever. And it just auto detects the memories there. Now let's just type mem. I know this is blurry, but I'm not going to do this for very long anyway. So you can see right there, it'll say 640K. So it's all there. Now I went into debug because I wanted to make sure that we weren't like getting like mirrored memory. So I went through and I entered in like say into 900 a value 
and then I dump, like say, a different area. So I went through earlier and verified that by entering in values that they're basically we're not getting mirrored memory and there isn't a alignment issue because you could fake DOS out or at least the, the system out and make it make a piece of memory show up two or three times so that's definitely not an issue there that was one of my big concerns when I built this but anyway so that's the 640k memory card so if you have any questions uh, email me leave a comment uh, you can uh, post on the discord page too if you'd like so thanks for checking out the video